Today on MTG Unpat, we're taking a look at the second of the Commander decks for Kaldheim, that is Phantom Premonition. So this is a white-blue deck, and if you missed the previous video, we took a look at the Elven Empire deck, I'll check a link in the corner, check it out. So these were released on February 5th, 2021, they go for $19.99 US. And at the current filming, you've got about $100 US value stuffed into here, so I think that's pretty cool. And let's take a look here. We've got Reynar, the Ever Watchful, is the foil commander. And on the back, we can read a bit more about that. You get a 100 card deck with 8 new cards, a deck box, 10 double sided token cards. You've got the Life Rule Strategy Insert and Reference card. Let's get into it. So they're actually, they have phased out the old Planeswalker decks, if you remember those. And they are including these with most of the new set releases now. So I think that's a much better idea. Uh, you get a lot more value out of these and they're more playable. Uh, you can get a lot more games out of these, I would think, than a typical Planeswalker deck. So let's get this out of here. Interesting packaging design. Okay. So we'll take a look at what's in here first. And uh, I just realized when I was making the other video, if you take a look at the deck box here, you can actually comfortably fit a full 100 card sleeved deck in here. So the actual deck, let's uh, show how that fits, is only taking up a fraction of that so if you sleeve all your cards you can probably fit everything in there so pretty cool we've got this nice debt box phantom premonition we've got a life counter here so this is going up to 40 I think yep all right and let's take a look at the commander before we get stuck into the rest of the things here so we have Reynar the Ever Watchful, Legendary Creature Spirit Warrior, 2, 3, for 4, it's a Mythic. With Flying and Vigilance, first card you foretell each turn costs 0 to foretell whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand and all permanents from the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Okay, so that's the white portion I'm guessing of the deck. Let's take a look here. So we can learn about Reynar the Ever Watchful, a bit of lore there, how to play the deck. So let's see here, spirits, yep, as I thought, and linking them in and out of existence. Okay, that's going to be interesting. If you're wondering how to play Commander, here is a nice summary. So it's a special format. I think it was really originating as EDH created by players. Okay, so let's get into this here, the deck proper. And we're going to go through a card at a time, really soak everything up and learn how the deck works. Uh, I will separate out the lands here. We'll look at those at the end. And uh, we want to get to the juicy goodness first of all. Okay, so pop that up there, Let's separate that and get going. We start off here with Banishing Light, Enchantment for three. So when it enters Battlefield Exile Target, non-land permanent and opponent controls until Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. Nice. So you can lock up the opponent's permanents there. Cloud Goat Ranger, Creature Giant Warrior 3, 3 for five. So when it enters Battlefield, create three, one, one, white, Kithkin, Soldier, Creature Tokens. And if you tap three untapped Kithkin you control, Cloud Goat Ranger gets plus two, plus zero, and gains flying until end of turn. Some fun artwork on this one. Evangel of Heliod, Creature Human Cleric, one, three, four, six. So when it enters the battlefield, create a number of one, one white, white soldier creature tokens equal to your devotion to white. So that means each white in the mana cost permanence you control counts towards your devotion to white. Flicker Wisp, Creature Elemental, 3-1 three, for 3 with flying, so when it enters the battlefield, it's on another target permanent. Turn that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, so that's the, like, the blinking in and out they mentioned. Ghostly Prison, Enchantment for 3, Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays 2 
Which creature they control that's attacking you? Nice. Gold Knight, Commander, Creature, Human Cleric, Soldier, 2, 2, 4. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. We've got the Core Cartographer, Creature, Core Scout, 2, 2, for 4. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Momentary Blink. Let's see if it does what it says on the tin. Instant for 2. It's our target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Has flashback for three and a blue. So you can cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost and then exile it. Okay, so pretty much what we're expecting. Return to dust, instant for four. Exile target artifact or enchantment. If you cast this well during your main phase, you may exile up to one other target artifact or enchantment. Wall of Omens, creature wall, zero four for two. Yes, there are things as walls here in Magic. Defender, and when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Ghostly Flicker, instant for three, XL2 tar target artifacts, creatures, and or lands you control, then return them to the battlefield under your control. Okay, so is there going to be anything taking advantage of ETB effects? That is the question here. Mist Raven, creature bird, two, two, for four, it's flying, and when it enters the battlefield, return target creature to its owner's hand. Mull Drifter, we've got the Flying Elemental Fish, 2-2 two, two for 5. So when it enters the battlefield, draw 2 cards, Evoke for 2 and a blue. So you can cast it for its Evoke cost. If you do it, sacrifice when it enters the battlefield. Seagate, Oracle, Creature, Human, Wizard, 1-3 three, for 3. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top 2 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other on the bottom of your library. Whirler Rogue, Creature, Human, Rogue, Artificer, 2-2 two, two for 4. So when it enters battlefield, create two one one colors. Stop the artifact creature tokens with flying. And if you tap two untapped artifacts you control, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Windfall, sorcery for three. Each player discards their hand and draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. Cloud Blazer, creature human scout, two two for five. With flying, when it enters battlefield, you gain two life and draw two cards. And I'm noticing there's a lot more flyers here. Uh, which could be interesting with that elf deck. I think they had reach some of the cards, so this could be good to play it against the other one. Uh, Empyrean Eagle, Creature Bird Spirit, 2 3 for 3 with flying other creatures you control with flying, get plus 1 plus 1. Migratory Route, Sorcery for 5, create 4 1 1 White Bird creature tokens with flying as basic land cycling for 2. Mist Web Meadow Witch, Creature Kithkin Wizard 1 1 for 2 for 2 white and blue exile target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Soul Herder, Creature Spirit 1 1 for 3. Whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Soul Herder. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile another target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Thunderclap Wyvern, nice one. Creature Drake, 2 3 for 4 with flash and flying. Other creatures you control with flying get plus 1 plus 1. Arcane Signet, we saw this one in the other deck. Artifact for 2, tap to add 1 mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Azoria Signet, nice include here. Artifact for 2, pay 1, tap, you get to add white and blue mana. Burnished Heart. Artifact Creature Elk 2-2 two, two, for 3, for 3, Sack it, search your library for up to 2 basic land cards, put them onto battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Commander's Sphere, Artifact for 3, tap to add 1 mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. If you sack Commander's Sphere, draw a card. Marble Diamond, Artifact for 2, and battlefield tap, tap it for white. Meteor Golem, Artifact Creature Golem 3-3 three, three, for 7 what? When it enters battlefield, destroy target and online permanent and opponent controls. A little bit costly, that one. But it does say uh, target non land permanent. Mindstone, artifact for two. Tap to add colorless mana for one tap. Sack it, draw a card. Cosmic Intervention, instant for four. If a permanent you control will be put into a graveyard from battlefield this turn, exile it instead. Return it to battlefield under its own control at the beginning of the next end step. Foretell for one and a white. Hero of Bretagard, Creature Human Warrior, 1-1 one, one for 3. Whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand and or permanents from the battlefield, put that many plus 1 plus 1 counters on Hero of Bretagard, and as long as Hero of Bretagard has 5 or more counters on it, has flying and isn't an angel in addition to its other types. Nice. 
As long as Hero Bredegard has 10 or more counters on it, it has indestructible and is a god in addition to its other types. Craziness. Stoic Farmer, Creature, Dwarf, Peasant, 3-3 three, three for 4. So when it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic lands card, reveal it if an opponent controls more lands than you, put it onto the battlefield, tap otherwise, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library for till for 1 and a white. Sage of the Beyond, Creature, Spirit, Giant, interesting combo. 5-5 five, five for 7 with flying, suppose you cast from anywhere other than your hand, cost 2 less to cast for till for 4 and a blue, that's pretty costly. Alright, so the rest of the deck here, and then we'll take a look at the lands. We have Spectral Deluge, Sorcery for 6, return each creature your opponent's control with toughness X or less to its owner's hand, where X is the number of islands you control for tell for 1 and 2 blue. Certland Elementalist, creature, giant wizard, 8-8 eight, eight for 7. Okay, so we're getting into some top-end creatures here. As an additional cost to cast a spell, reveal a giant card from your hand or pay 2. Whenever it attacks, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. Tales of the Ancestors, sorcery for 4 each play with fewer cards in hand than the play with the most cards in hand, draws cards equal to the difference, foretell for 1 and a blue. Ethereal Valkyrie, Creature Spirit Angel, 4-4 four, four for 6 with flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Then exile a card from your hand, face down, it becomes foretold. Its foretell cost is its mana cost reduced by 2. Okay, so small angels here. Angel of Finality, Creature Angel, 3-4 four, four with flying. When it enters the battlefield, it's a low cards from target player's graveyard. Angel of Serenity, Creature Angel, it's a mythic. 5-6. For, what is that, 7 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile up to 3 other target creatures from the battlefield and or creature cards from graveyards. And when it leaves the battlefield, return the exile cards to their owner's hands. Cleansing Nova, sorcery for 5, destroy 1. Destroy all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Eerie Interlude, instant for 3. Exile any number of target creatures you control. Return them to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So it's more creature blinking here. Geist Honored Monk, Creature hum Human Monk, Star Star for 5 with Vigilance, its power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control, and when it enters the battlefield, create 2 one, one White Spirit Creature Tokens with Flying. Marshall's Anthem, Enchantment for 4, has Multi Kicker 1 and a White, okay, so you can pay an additional 1 and White any number of times as you cast the spell. Creatures you control get plus one plus one, and when Marshall's Anthem enters the battlefield, return up to X target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the number of times Marshall's Anthem was kicked. Nice, okay. Restoration Angel, creature Angel 3, 4, 4 with flash and flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may so target non-Angel creatures you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Storm Herd, Sorcery for 10, what? Create X, 1-1 one, one white Pegasus creature tokens with flying. Where X is your life total? Okay, I can see why that's so costly. Oh, I hope they have a ton of uh, Pegasus tokens here. Sun Titan, creature giant, 6-6-4-6 six, six, six mana with vigilance. Whenever it enters battlefield or attacks, you may return target permanent card with command mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Arcane Artisan, creature human wizard, it's a mythic. 0, 3 for 3, for 2 and a blue, tap, target player draws a card, then exiles a card from their hand. If a creature card is that side this way, that player creates a token that's a copy of that card. And when Arcane Artisan leaves the battlefield, exile all tokens created with it at the beginning of the next end step. Curse of the Swine, sorcery for X and 2 blue, exile X, target creatures for each creature exile this way, its controller creates a 2 2 green ball creature token. Turn them into piggies. Day of the Dragons, Enchantment 4, 7, when it enters battlefield, exile all creatures you control, then create that many 5-5 five, five red dragon creature tokens with flying, what? When it leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all dragons you control, Ah, oh, that's not good. Then return the exile cards to the battlefield under your control. So you're essentially swapping in uh, all of your creatures for some dragons temporarily. Inspired Sphinx, Creature Sphinx, 5-5 five, five for 7 with flying when it ends battlefield, draw cards equal to the number of opponents you have. This one's also a mythic. For 3 and a blue, create a 1-1 one, one color Thopter artifact creature token with flying. So we should have some Thopter tokens here somewhere. Synthetic Destiny, instant for 6, x all creatures you control at the beginning of the next end step. Reveal cards from the top of your library and to reveal that many creature cards, put all creature cards revealed this way onto the battlefield. 
then shuffle the rest of the revealed cards into your library. Brago King Eternal, that's a surprise one. Legendary Creature, Spirit Noble 244 with Flying. I mean, this guy is a commander in his own right, so yeah. Leave a note in the comments, have you got a Brago Commander deck? How does that work for you? So he has Flying. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, exile any number of target non land permanents you control, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Sky Diamond Artifact for two. Enter the battlefield, tap, tap it for blue. Soul Ring, yes, what would a commander deck be without a Soul Ring artifact for one? Tap to add two colorless mana. Swift Foot Boots, here's another nice one. Artifact equipment for two, equip creatures, Hexproof and Haste, equip for one. Iron Verdict, instant for three. Deals five damage to target, tapped creature for tell for a single white. Warhorn Blast, instant for five. Creatures to control get plus two, plus one until end of turn, foretell for two and a white. Behold the Multiverse, instant for four, scry two, then draw two cards, foretell for one and a blue. Raven Form, sorcery for three, eight, so target artifact for creature, its controller creates a one, one blue bird creature token with flying, foretell for a blue. Saw it coming, instant for three, counter target spell, nice flavor there, foretell for one and a blue. Nico defies destiny, enchantment saga for three. On the first turn, you gain two life for each foretold card you own in exile on the second turn. Add white and blue. Spend this mana only to foretell cards or cast spells that have foretell. And on the third turn, return target card with foretell from your graveyard to your hand. Vega, the Watcher, Legendary Creature, Bird Spirit, 223 with flying. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. Replicating Ring, we've got the snow artwork here. Snow artifact for three. Tap to add one mana of any colour at the beginning of your upkeep, put a Knight Counter on Replicating Ring. Then if it has eight or more Knight Counters on it, remove all of them and create eight colour snow artifact tokens. Name Replicated Ring with tap to add one mana of any colour. That's pretty crazy. Gates of Isfell. So land and spell tap, tap it for white, for two white and two blue. Tap, sack it, you gain two life and draw two cards. Glacial Floodplain, Snowland, Plains Island, tap for white or blue, enters the battlefield, tapped. And then we've got some tokens. So we've got a Thopter, and on the other side, a Dragon. Okay. So, oh, something different on the back of this one. Replicated Ring. Okay. We've got the Spirit and a Boar token from that card we saw earlier. Spirit, Boar. Okay, so we've got a couple of those. Here's the Pegasuses. So how many of these do you get? You've got a 1-1 one, one Pegasus. And on the other side, a Kithkin Soldier. Okay, so another one. Just two. A Spirit and a Bird Token. So we generate a lot of tokens in this deck. Soldier and a Bird. This is probably another Soldier and Bird. Oh, yep. Different type of bird though. And popular magic formats, I'm guessing Commander may be your favorite format. Leave a note in the comments and some bits about on your turn. So let's take a look at the mana base real quick. And then we'll wrap things up here. So we've got the Azorius Chancery enters the battlefield tap. When it enters the battlefield, return land you control to its own hand. Tap it for white and blue. Azorius Skill Gate, another tap land, white or blue. Command Tower. Land, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. This is pretty much an auto include. Cryptic Caves, tap for colorless mana for one tap. Sack it, draw a card, activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. We've got another tap land here, Me Meandering River for white or blue. Myriad Landscape, enters the battlefield, tap, tap it for colors for two tap. Sack it, search library for up to two basic land cards that share land type. Put them onto battlefield, tap, then shop your library. Opal Palace, tap for colors. For one tap, add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. If you spend this mana to cast your commander at end spell for the number of additional plus one plus one counts on it, equal to the number of times it's been cast from the command zone this game. We've got the Sajiri Refuge, another tap land, but you do gain life. Tap for white or blue. Tranquil Cove, another life gain. Tap land, white or blue. And then Plains. 13 of those. And Islands. 12 of those. Okay, so about what I was expecting. Okay, so this looks like another great deck. One curious thing, uh, normally when you're blinking cards in, you would like to have some enter the battlefield type effects. 
I don't remember seeing anything here, so maybe that's an area where you could improve the deck. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's pretty solid value. You're getting almost 100 bucks worth of cards for 20. So you can't go too wrong with that. I think it's a much better approach than the Planeswalker decks, which were really underpowered decks. And you couldn't really get a lot of use out of those. So let me know in the comments what you think. Are you planning to pick up this one or the other one? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And if you would like to see some other Commander videos, I've got a whole playlist, got a couple of dozen actually, so I'll chuck a link in the corner to that. Definitely check it out. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.